Today, I come to inform you about the death of George H.W. Bush, 41st President of the United States, Vice President to Ronald Reagan, member of the five-person group of experts handpicked by CIA Director Richard Helms in 1949 to find ways to allow the CIA to fund its immoral and unethical activities without needing to disclose their efforts to Congress through the usual appropriations process. You know, allow the CIA to act with impunity without even the pretense of democracy. The operation, Eagle 2, which resulted in the deaths of 20,000 dissidents under an operation called Phoenix Program, is an operation that George H.W. Bush participated in, all to traffic drugs around the world using Japanese banks and American shell companies to launder the funds. Links in the description. I am not making this up. The news media is going to talk about Bush's 60-something missions as a fighter pilot in World War II, even though most pilots didn't even do 20. And of course, as a priest of statism, how he could reach across the aisle and make America kindler and gentler. He'll be most remembered for the thousands of people who died pointlessly in Operation Desert Storm, an utterly pointless military endeavor done for the sole purpose of just because we could, and for his tax hikes after promising, Read my lips. No new taxes. And his efforts to create a one-world government, new world order. Great work, Mr. President. You're really showing us all what a great friend to liberty you were. In other words, on December 1st, 2018, Bush ascended to heaven and at long last is reunited with John McCain's brain tumor.